on Wednesday, a new community forum, tomorrow indeed, at the Millennium Powerhouse in Moss Side. will offer local residents the chance to air their views and their ideas on violent crime or other social issues in their neighbourhood. With me, Sam Latte from the group and also Joseph Belibe, who are project coordinators. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, Thank you. Sam, whose idea is this? Uh, this idea is from the people in the local community. Mm -hmm. uh, I have taken a year uh, to uh, do a lot of visibility study in the communities. Mm -hmm. And every community I have been for over a year, the people seem to be saying that they want to have a voice on the subject mm -hmm. of violent crime in their neighborhood. Mm -hmm. uh, they, have, they are tired and they have had enough of uh, every day, not being able to let the youngsters go out to play normally. And so those are the issues the people, uh, you know, impress or press on us. And they want us to create a platform for them to come and have their views heard. Joseph, it, it's, it's not a new idea, a community forum. What's going to be different about yours? What makes it different is that we're not politicians. That's right. We're the people on the ground, ready to hit the ground, really. And we have taken the, uh, the, the views of, and the opinions of the public. We have a great back, backing at the moment. And what happened is they want practical applications and they want to be involved in the making, in, in making this happen, basically. They want to be a part, part integral where the solution comes from them because they have a daily living experiences of what's going on. But you do need a political backing to make any solution Absolutely. work, don't you? I mean, the people can come up with great ideas, but yes. you need the political backing to make it happen. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we want to be the bridge to connect the uh, this time it's the approach of the bottom up. Basically, we want to have we want to be the bridge between their opinions and what they experience to now the local council who are working with us at the moment and supporting us, and we're thankful for them as well. Okay, Sam, you call yourself the Community Impact Forum Group. Yes. Monthly meetings, it's planned. Absolutely. Absolutely. The first one uh, begin at yes. the powerhouse tomorrow. What time? Uh, Six thirty mm -hmm. p.m. to so eight thirty p.m. And who can come? Uh, everybody is welcome. Uh, this is a project for the people, for the local residents uh, who feel uh, somehow that they have not been listened to in the past. And who and will be now... on the panel? Is it just a group uh, discussion amongst themselves or will there be a panel, Joseph? Will there be, you know, in the past I've seen the likes of the Chief Constable, Religious Leaders Community is on a panel. Is it that kind of format? Um... Yes. We, we're going to have, uh, first of all, we have uh, identified some community groups. Mm -hmm. Uh, groups like, uh, you know, Charisma, of course. Uh, groups like Mothers Against Violence. Mm -hmm. So they, these people will be in the panel. They will be in attendance. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, I will, myself, I will be the moderator for the night, mm -hmm. meaning that between the public mm -hmm. and uh, those that are coming, they, those we have invited, there should be somebody to coordinate the activity for the night. So I will be doing that. Joseph will be assisting me. And then alongside. you'll take your ideas forward to whom? To political leaders, to the chief constable? Uh, where, Joseph? Because the, the local council are working with us. They know about the project and yeah. they will be there. But this time they will be listening more than talking. talking. And now, <laughs> There's the key. I say the politicians them, will listen rather yeah, than talking. I say to them, if you want to have something you never had before, you're going to have to do something, something you've never done, done before. before. So if we can, they can begin to listen listen a little bit more, you will see things will begin to change because it's a people-centred project. That's and it's not all about Moss Side, is it? You're moving around Greater oh, no, Manchester absolutely. Sam, as well? Absolutely. We're going sure. to Ardwick, you know, we're going to Fallow Field. It's going to be uh, probably advertised every month, month in, month out, basically. Sure. Yeah. We often try and give Moss Side a, a positive Absolutely. Because there's lots of good things to talk about. Sure. about, about that. We sure. don't always want to be talking about violent crime and gun crime. Sure. Do you not think that doing these just reinforces people's negative view of the area? Uh, not necessarily. It just depends on how you look at it. But uh, quite uh, often, mm -hmm. uh, when you talk about gun knife or crime, violent crime in general, everybody thinks it's more side. Mm -hmm. But there is, like you said, there are a lot of good things that is happening. It's in a great Mosai. community. It yeah. is a wonderful community, wonderful people. Mm -hmm. But then, this time around, mm -hmm. we want to make sure that the local, the ordinary people mm -hmm. in the community mm -hmm. want to come together mm -hmm. to bring solutions because they are so eager okay. to come and talk. Mm -hmm. And that is the, the basis for this exercise. Well, I wish you well um, you. with your forum. I hope you get some solutions that provide um, answers to... Uh, Problems that we have long sought the answers to, gentlemen. Thanks very much. Oh, we'll George, very quickly. We will let you know the follow up as well. Oh, yes, actually, so it'd be that, fascinating. So yeah, let's hear what the community have to say. Thank, thank you very much for the opportunity.